scientists and students of natural history in all parts of the world, the continent of Australia is a vast wonderland of colourful and unique birds and animals. These pictures give some indication of the great variety of bird life alone found in one small part of the continent. Outstanding in this fantasia of fine feathers are parrots and cockatoos. In many places, it is not unusual to see flocks of up to 500 parrots wheeling and swooping over the landscape in close formation like these rose-breasted cockatoos, commonly known as galahs. Among them, 58 different species of parrots and cockatoos display every color known to nature. Some are brilliantly flamboyant, like the king parrot. Others, like the ring-necked parrot of the Mallee, are not so spectacular in their coloring, but are nonetheless handsome. The water birds of Australia include most of the world's common species, including ibis, cranes, egrets, herons and storks. There are also innumerable kinds of sea fowl ducks and wild geese. The most rare of these waterfowl is the black swan, unknown anywhere else in the world except in zoos and parks. It usually nests on an island out of the way of foxes and other marauding animals. With its long and flexible neck, the swan turns the eggs in the nest, cleans its feathers and builds up the side of the nest to keep out cold and damp winds coming off the water. When the cygnets are hatched, they are covered with a yellow down which turns black after two or three months. Pelicans are found in other parts of the world, but the Australian variety is bigger than most others and has a larger pouch. Penguins are also found in other parts of the Southern Hemisphere. Australia has three species the fairy penguin of Victoria and Tasmania being the best known. This is the call of Laughing Jack, the kookaburra. The kookaburra is the largest member of the kingfisher family and is found in open forest lands all over the country. Along with the koala and the kangaroo, he is one of Australia's popular favorites. This is a young magpie lark, or peewee, and a young black and white magpie who later becomes a brilliant singer. The biggest bird in Australia is the emu, one of the five flightless birds in the world. The spread of farming lands has driven the emu away from the settled districts, but flocks of them are still plentiful in areas away from the beaten track. The male bird does most of the incubation sitting on a clutch of between five and eight eggs each season. The second and more rare of Australia's flightless birds is the cassowary of northern Queensland. A unique and particularly interesting group of birds are the mound builders which include the scrub turkeys seen here. Instead of making nests, this group of birds build up great mounds of earth, sticks and leaves, sometimes rising to seven or eight feet in height. Some of these mounds are community efforts involving the work of three or four families, all of which deposit 10 or a dozen eggs in the mound, where they are hatched by the warmth of the decaying vegetable matter. The chicks are fully fledged when hatched and are able to fend for themselves within a few hours. Australia has some of the smallest birds in the world, one of them being the mistletoe bird, which builds a nest in or near a clump of mistletoe. The berries of this plant, which grows on some varieties of gum tree, form the principal diet of the mistletoe bird. The hanging nest is made of spider webs and fine plant fibers. The blue wren and his wife Jenny are general favorites in nearly every part of the continent. The male bird gets his brilliant plumage during his third or fourth year and before that time, there is little to distinguish him from the female. 
For this reason, it is not uncommon to see one blue wren accompanied by several brown wrens, representing a family group of one adult male, his mate, and four or five children. Another group of small birds that can be frequently seen in open forest country are the thornbills. There are about 20 different species of the family, this one being the buff-tailed thornbill. Its nest is made of grass and bark, bound together with spiderwebs and feathers. The pardalot is one of the smallest of all birds, being very little bigger than a man's thumb. Their feathers vary considerably in color. Some of them have red spotted wings, some have yellow, and others orange. This brightly spotted variety is also called the diamond bird. This is the red-capped robin, and as usual, the male bird is more brilliantly colored than the female. Of the 30 or 40 varieties of robin in Australia, the red cap, or dawn singer, is one of the most colorful. Among the fantails, this popular black and white species is affectionately known to children as Willy Wagtail. The bellbird has a call that sounds like a striking bell. He is a shy bird, more often heard than seen. Yellow Bob is a member of the robin family, whose nest is brightly decorated with strips of bark and pieces of the green lichen. Cranky Fan or Mad Fan is the popular name given to the grey fantail, a bird that performs the most erratic evolutions while chasing winged insects. Among the nocturnal birds and birds of prey, there are several members of the owl family and a wide variety of hawks and eagles. This white sea eagle is a coastal scavenger. The red goshawk is probably the most aggressive of all Australian birds of prey. The kestrel is a high-flying bird noted for its ability to hover and also for its insatiable appetite for mice and other small rodents. The wonder bird of Australia is the lyrebird so-called because of its lyre-shaped tail. This bird is one of the most interesting forms of wildlife found only in Australia. While the modest hen bird is busy making a nest and hatching a single egg, the male lyre bird devotes most of his time to clearing small patches of the forest floor to provide himself with a series of mounds or playgrounds. During the mating season particularly, he moves from one mound to another and goes through a spectacular routine of song and dance designed to impress his mate. These are just a few of the interesting and colourful birds that make the Australian bushland a fantasy of fine feathers. <laughs>